Greetings of peace, brothers and sisters. Let's be aware of the real bread that Jesus gives us from the yeast of the Pharisees and that of Herod. I am Sister Rosalie for the Gospel Power of Today. Now, the disciples had forgotten to bring any bread, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. And Jesus cautioned them, saying, Watch out, beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and the yeast of Herod. They said to one another, It is because we have no bread. And becoming aware of it, Jesus said to them, why are you talking about having no bread? Do you still not perceive or understand? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and fail to see? Do you have ears and fail to hear? And do you not remember when I broke the five loaves for the five thousand, how many baskets full of broken pieces did you collect? They said to him, Twelve, and the seven for the four thousand. How many baskets full of broken pieces did you collect? And they said to him, Seven. Then he said to them, Do you not yet understand? After Jesus multiplied bread for the Jewish crowd, in chapter 6, Mark comments in verse 52 that the disciples had not understood the incident of the loaves. They failed to recognize the value of the event as a sign pointing to the kingdom vision of Jesus. Today's Gospel picks up the theme of the disciples in comprehension. When Jesus mentions yes, they think he means material bread. But Jesus is talking about something extremely serious and dangerous, and He wants them to understand this before it happens so that they may not be caught off guard. The yeast of the Pharisees and the yeast of Herod are conflicting kingdom visions that are both opposed to Jesus' vision. The yeast of Herod is His ambition to perpetuate his dynasty, while the use of the Pharisees is their elitist vision of holiness for the few who can follow their rigid interpretation of the law. Jesus can feel that the time to go to Jerusalem to make a stand for his own kingdom vision is getting nearer. Yet, until this time, his disciples do not have the slightest idea of what is at stake. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, when standing up for the kingdom results in incomprehension, give us the grace to remain faithful. Amen. We are here to provide a new way of communicating and proclaiming the gospel.